Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new edition of Industrial Valco University, where you can get your PVF degree for free. Today, we're going to talk about plug valves. We're also going to have a very special guest. Did you see Tiger King? Joe Exotic's going to make an appearance later in the show. But first, we're going to talk about plug valves. Now, the thing about plug valves is they're a lot like a ball valve or a butterfly valve, meaning they're a quarter turn valve. To open or close the plug valve, you need to only turn it one quarter of a full revolution, like I'm doing right here. Also, a little fun fact, when the valve is all the way open, it's actually called full on. And when it's closed, it is called full off, which now that I think about it, isn't really that fun of a fact, but it is still a fact nonetheless. Also, the head marks to the operator if the valve is open or shut with the port openings. If parallel, it is open, if opposite, then it is closed. Also, some valves like this one here actually say open or close. Let me put this one back and bring back the Rison plug valve and let you know that plug valves have a stopper or they're made with a stopper that goes across the passageway. The stopper is a plug with a hole through it. The hole is called a port. That can be rotated to align with the pipe openings. When the port is in alignment with the passageway, the media can go through. When it is moved 90 degrees, or as we mentioned, a quarter turn, the passageway is closed. All right, there's two types of lubricated plugs in these valves that we're going to discuss today. One's the cylindrical, the other one is the tapered. So let's go over both those right now. The cylindrical plug has a larger port opening, including the full pipe area. It will not bind due to pressure lock. However, they do have a shorter lifespan. As the plug is opened and closed, wear and tear will widen the gap between the plug and the body, eventually leading to leakage. So cylindrical plugs are great for a lower torque and a good seat seal. Now let's look at the tapered plugs. The tapered plug typically has a restricted opening, which can bind under large pressure differential. Tapered plug valves typically have a longer life. As the valve is opened and closed, and the plug wears down, the tapered plug can go in the body further. This prevents the formation of a gap where leakage can form. The tapered plug has a higher torque and a better seat seal than even the cylindrical. The two main types of plug valves that we use in the industrial world are sleeved and lubricated plug valves. Lubricated plug valves utilize an engineered sealant to lubricate and to aid in sealing. The lubricant, in effect, becomes a structural part of the valve as it provides a flexible and renewable seat. The plug valve will need sealant made for the valve. This is not something you can roll over to the Home Depot and just buy the needed grease. You have to get it from the manufacturer. The sealant is injected into the cavity and the valve below the injection fitting prevents the sealant from flowing in the reverse direction. Sleeved plug valves contain an elastomeric body liner or sleeve typically made from Teflon which is installed in the body cavity. The sleeved plug acts like a floating ball valve and presses the plug against the sleeve and body forming a seal. The plug valve, like its quarter turn brethren the ball valve and butterfly valve, is not recommended for throttling services. Which brings me to my favorite part of every episode. Did you know? Industrial Valco University presents, did you know? Did you know that the first plug valves, valves were used by ancient Romans and made of wood? They were used to regulate water and rivers and streams for public use. During the Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci sketched how they could be a more sophisticated valve. And in 1705, the valve that we are now most common with was developed by Thomas Newcomb to help regulate the first steam machine. And speaking of Leonardo da Vinci, did you also know, a little bonus did you know, that Leonardo was my favorite of all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And why Leonardo, you ask? Because he was known as being the leader of the team and known to be loyal, brave, and responsible. And speaking of brave, loyal, and responsible, let's catch up with the man himself from the hit documentary, Tiger King, in a new segment we call Joe Exotic Talks About PVF. 
Hey, cool cats and kittens, this is Pablo, a three-month-old snow leopard. You know, the thing about plug valves is that they're large ceiling area. These valves are great for tight shut-off applications and highly corrosive or erosive uses and gasoline services. And uh, one other thing, Carol Baskin fed her husband to a lion. Vote Joe Exotic for governor. Wow, say what you want about uh, Joe Exotic, but that guy has some passion for big cats and plug valves. Joe, thank you for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at the advantages and disadvantages now of these plug valves. The advantages of using plug valves, one, quick quarter turn on off operation, minimal resistance to flow, and lubricated valve seat problems are easily repaired in line with the addition of grease. The disadvantages of plug valves, they require a higher torque to open and close due to high friction. Most have a reduced port due to space constraints. Okay class, I think we're pretty versed now in the plug valve, but let's do a quick review just to make sure. Plug valves are quarter turn valves. Stopper for these valves is a plug with a hole through it and the hole is called a port. The cylindrical plug has a larger port opening including the full pipe area. The tapered plug typically has a restricted opening. Lubricated plug valves utilize an engineered sealant to lubricate and to aid in the sealing. The sleeve plug acts like a floating ball valve and presses the plug against the sleeve and body forming a seal. The advantages are quick quarter turn, minimal resistance, and the disadvantage is it requires a higher torque to open and close due to high friction. All right, class, that's all we have today on plug valves. We'd like to thank Joe Exotic for coming on. We also want to let you know that all the plug valves that you've seen and that we've talked about can be bought right here at iValco.com, 24 seven online service. Have a great day, everybody. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss a class. Also, be sure to go to iValco.com where you can get more information and resources for the items that you saw and also have the opportunity to purchase these items with our 24-7 online ordering. Also, be sure to visit our partners at the American Supply Association or ASA.net for additional training and courses that are tailored for all areas of the supply chain management.